hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is joy gunoji and here we talk about different things literally different things um relocation migration nursing midwifery and these days is going to be screaming in class man i because i just passed my in class like i just can't keep calm so i'm sorry you're going to be hearing more about that and about the things as well you know about what we've been talking about about more things new things but i'm warning you ahead <laughs> yeah it's not an easy phase it wasn't something that easy it took it took a while um so i'm just going to be shooting this video i was just about to go to church i said you know i still have a little time left just to you know blab about um the process how it went for me how long it took for me um you know the study materials i used and how i used them and that's what this video is basically going to be talking about okay stick foot <laughs> hi welcome back so um like i said i just wanted to put this video out there to put this video out there to <laughs> oh my god why are you blushing joy <laughs> i'm just so happy i just can't keep calm you know the feeling is different my friend was telling me the other day why i was still preparing yet to write it she said when you finish writing this exam you feel different and you just feel like chillers like nothing annoys you anymore you know nothing nothing shakes you anymore that's the that's the state i am in this at this point but yeah by the way um so what happened first i'm going to be talking about the uh, how long the process took for me so i started you know my get trying to get my att january and um got my att registered my birth nursing did my verification a credential evaluation and i i, I got my att and then i registered for my examination so register with your boy of nursing do your evaluation normally i put a video out there about the whole process before you can go back to watch it you know to get a clearer view so um i got my att don't show record short registered for the NCLEX, the first one in june i posted for june but um i so i finished my evaluation in march from january to march then booked my exam for june and then a lot of things were happening during that period i couldn't <clears throat> i just i just felt no why not bring this exam forward i brought it to may and i was trying to use one month or so yeah may march april may yeah i was trying to use one and a half months almost two months to prepare for it passive preparation like passive studies because i was working at that point but i still had you know other things other exams to sit for other things to do in my life like it was my life was busy at that point so i said let me try and rush this in class out of the way but i didn't know that baba was not something you rush in class is not something you just you know rush out of the way you have to sit down actually study for it you have to put your head down so yeah I went into the exam hall to fail to dash the money. I failed the first attempt. Yeah, I wrote it in May. I failed it, and it was really devastating for me. It was devastating. I I felt bad. Like, and you know this thing that the result comes out on the same day. Yeah, so I I I the place the place I wrote it. I was you know traveling back home. It was a little a little distance from my house, so I was traveling back home. I was in the train when I saw the result and my legs felt like leaves. It couldn't carry me again. Like it was so, I felt so weak. You know that feeling, like so weak. And it was later on in the process during my study for the second one that I realized that I didn't actually study for the first one. I didn't, I didn't study. So the only materials I used were Kaplan and Siponosin and I didn't even go in depth. So these materials i'm not saying they're not good they are good but i didn't use them well and i i i you know i i made a group where we could study together brought people together so we could start studying but we're doing that but i didn't really get content i was not 
I was not like I, I didn't have much content. I didn't have, you know, you know what I mean. Like when you're loaded with content and you're just trying to struggle with the basics, like the hard one, like the not the basics now, the hard part, like the other aspects. You've known the basics, but I didn't know anything. Like I didn't have any much content because it's been long. I left nursing school to start with, and also. Um, you need to study for your in place. When you're writing your in place, you need to start afresh with content, get familiarized with the content areas, you know, um, get to know what the, the things they are, study them, get just, yeah, just get yourself equipped, get yourself. <laughs> so I went home on that day that I filled the first attempt, went home and I, I had to pick up my phone to register again. I went online, booked, I registered again for another ATT because you have to get another authorization to test each time you you want to write again. So I applied again for another ATT. They, they will tell you that you need 45 days or so in between the first and second attempt to to be able to register again. So I had to wait for that period. I, I know I booked it after for five days. They didn't allow me to book before for five days, definitely. So I booked after for five days and I started studying again. I took the both steps of going to, you know, decency. I went to decency, got one-on-one -on -one tutoring, which was really helpful for me. Decency and Class Academy. Um, thank you so much because it was really helpful for me. Um, my tutor, um, Stella Maris, for Stella Maris, she, you know, she really settled down with me and I was like, you know, put me through one-on-one, -on -one to pushed me to actually do lots of questions and all of that. Um, yeah. So, and the prayers as well, the, the motivation, the prayers, uh, they thought like it was really helpful. I, I, what was I? So I, I registered again and then I started that one. I, wanted. I started my studies again from that June, July, you know, and uh, I started using, um, I registered with um, Acha, Acha Question Bank. Actually, um, register with a U word again. So the first one I did U word Kaplan and Simple Nursing. Well, my U word I let it expire three months. It just expired like that. I didn't. I didn't do up to fifty or sixty questions with it. And they, there are thousands of questions there. I didn't do them. I just did smart like small small. So I had to register with the public uh, another U word like one where we gather together to pay for like a public one so and did um both uh, personal actual accounts and then um and then i i also also did the one no one tutoring and then use my question bank actual question bank you world question bank um i also use which did i use again so at this point i didn't use them um, Simple nursing again because I've already you I've already you know watched most of his videos. Yeah, they were really helpful. Simple nursing videos were really helpful for me. And then uh -huh, I listened to Mark K from the first to the twelfth lecture, like lecture one to twelve. I listened to everything, made sure that I listened to everything. Like and I kept doing that over and over again. Each time I'm going now, I'm like putting an iPod on my ears and listening to that. Um, yeah, so those are basically the things I used to just, just those four things the second time. Acha, Saunders, U Words, um, personal tutoring and Marque lectures, audio lectures. And then I was doing questions every day, you know, um, making sure I do 85 questions every day, um, for more than 85 actually. Who said, did I just say 85? So I will do it five questions at a time, like it five questions at a time, finish that it five question, study the rationales in on new world now, did it five questions on you will study the rationales. And then I, after studying the rationales, I understand why I feel the questions I feel and pass the ones I've passed because they give you rationales with each of them. I go over again, I start afresh, you know, until I'm tired or until, you know, the day ends. So 24 hours was usually not enough for me, but I tried to manage it. And that was when I wished, oh God, I wish there was, you know, maybe 36 hours in a day. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so 
I was also using the Archer for CAT and readiness assessment. Um, you know, every week or so, every week, yeah, um, do CAT, do readiness as instructed by my tutor. And we're also having Zoom meetings as well. Um, Zoom meetings regularly, like three times a week, four times a week, depending. And yeah, so I, like I said, listening to my key lectures and I've already studied my simple not saying videos, watch the videos and I I did use Kaplan like rough label, just basics. I, I was using to study with my friends on the, on the Telegram group then. So that was what I was using my Kaplan for then I bought the textbook and Sounders, oh my God. So you have to really, really read um, Sounders where like you have to, um, what is this now? You have to study those, those, a, a pyramids like those pyramids on sounders um I'm, I'm going to try and project it on this video those pyramids that the triangles and all those make sure you study those um, content areas that are written in red that are in the bosses inside the sounders textbook very helpful at least even if you're not able to read the whole textbook make sure you re you study those aspects and um i hope my voice is clear oh. ah I hope my voice is clear. Let me shout, please. Acha, I use Acha. I use your word. I use Sanders. I use my key. I use the simple nursing goes from my face. Yeah. And, um, yeah, personal tutoring as well. So those were the things that really helped me. Plus the grace of God, like a lot of grace of God. Because I kept praying, my friend was praying for me as well, Catherine and my other friends, like, I'm so grateful. Like, I'm really, really grateful for this moment. Uh, this moment in time. It's, it feels so good to be on this other side. It feels really good being on the side of the... Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. So that's it. That was the whole thing for me. I finally passed it and I was happy. I was excited. And I studied for two months. Yeah. I studied for two months this time, two full months. So I intended studying for only one month again because I've already, you know, I was trying to do something before, not much. So I, I, what's it called? I, I wanted to study for one month and go right there, but I realized I wasn't ready. And my teacher told me that as well, that I wasn't ready yet. So I had to add an extra month, push my exam forward, add an extra month and study just so I don't, you know, go back day again for the third time and God didn't let me do that. I came out with 85 questions, passed out in five questions for two hours. I wrote the exam for two hours, in five questions and out like that, that has fit. I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to say it like in five and out in two hours. Ah, okay. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Oh yeah, so that that was that was what happened basically. That's my story. That's my touching story. My my very very you know sort of like a testimony, like it's a testimony for me because the period was tough. The stress from work was telling on me and everything else. The period was really tough. But yeah, here we are. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video really if not for anything, just to encourage you that I don't know if you've been writing the class before, if you've written it how many times, just to encourage you that you can actually do this. Say, I, I registered for this again the day I failed the exam because I wanted to put in the work and put in the effort to start afresh. Don't be afraid of starting afresh. Don't be scared of, you know, starting again and Let's let the father you feel the first one. If you're a repeat test taker, let the father you feel the first one push you to actually study for this for it this time around. And I know God will crown your efforts with success. Because don't forget to pray, don't forget to add the essence of prayer, like it's very important. Involve God in it because He's the only one that sustains us. When I was in the exam hall, I was praying to the Holy Spirit, like please God. I don't want to come back here. Please take the take take this mouse. Do it yourself, please. I beg you, like, because the questions were really hard. You know, it, it's a it's a is the way it's, the way the exam is structured, like a um, computer adaptive card system. 
Computer adaptive testing system. If if you are answering the if you are answering easy if you, if you're feeling easy questions, yeah, it keeps it keeps giving you more easy ones to just to you know assess your level of you know intelligence so or level of understanding of contents. I don't know how to put it. So it's computer adaptive basically. If you if you pass the easy questions, it will go over to hard questions, medium hard questions. And if you fill those hard questions, it will bring you back to an easier question, a less harder question. And you know, it wants you to keep passing. Like try as much as possible to be on that hard level. That's what the computer wants. And um yeah. It's a story now, it's a testimony now. Um, I'm really grateful for you guys waiting here on me. Like I was not losing subscribers, I was gaining every day. I kept checking my algorithm on my studio, YouTube studio. I was gaining subscribers every blessed day. And I just want to say thank you for that. You go, you, you all, you, thank you, just thank you. Like, thank you. I'm glad I have you as a family. Yes, you're watching this. I'm glad I have you in my family. Thank you so much. And thank you for sticking around. If you're here to subscribe and you're watching this video, please welcome to the family. Click on the subscribe button. Like this video. Share with your friends. And um, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.